hello friends i am showing how to create uh, esp.net identity uh, tables in database and uh, how to add custom columns into uh, esp.net user tables so let's create esp.net core web application let's name it esp.net identity app Here we have selected .NET Core and ASP.NET Core 2.2 and empty template. Okay. Now our empty ASP.NET uh, uh, Core web application is uh, created. So there are startup programs and app settings to JSON file. So let's create uh, models folder and uh, create a DB context for our identity app user DB context. Here we need to create class for app user which inherit identity user here we create uh, three uh, properties custom properties for our uh, identity user first name Let's define max length. Here we need to add annotation namespace. We create second column, last name, and user image. So these three are uh, properties that, that we have uh, added as for our requirement. So now we inherit app user db context from identity db context. Identity db context. Let's uh, import namespace. Here we need to pass our uh, app user class custom class that just we have created and here we need to create constructor db context options options and then pass it to the these options to the base class okay. so here uh, we have created our app user db context uh, that is inherited from in identity db context and we are using app user uh, in app user class we have created three uh, properties that uh, not available in identity user so these three properties are the custom uh, properties uh, so it will uh, create uh, three new columns into ASP.NET user table now in startup file configuration services method we need to add services dot add identity and there also we need to part user app user class an identity role so for identity role we are not uh, adding any uh, custom properties so I am using identity role uh, as the inbuilt class available in identity namespace now I am uh, going to add entity framework stores and uh, assign app 
db context now for our app or user db context we need to add db context app user db context here we can mention which database we are use for this app user db context so i am using sql server let's add namespace see here uh, here we have to pass the connection string sql server co connection string so we are adding connection string into the app settings.json connection strings it's a key value so let's uh, name it uh, sql connection and just we copy my sql server detail database is my app db okay now uh, in a startup file we will use i configuration class that available in microsoft dot extension dot configuration let's create startup constructor i configuration and then assign this configuration from the constructor input now we can use this configuration uh, variable to get connection string from our app settings dot json so let's name our connection string key sql connection okay now uh, to uh, create a database tables uh, we need to use uh, package manager console let's uh, open a view other windows and uh, package manager console first we need to add migration and uh, specify the name of the migration so let's name it custom identity and execute it so it will create a migration for our uh, uh, app user db context see uh, it has created uh, all the migration and uh, these three are the custom uh, columns that uh, added in this migration so now we need to just uh, execute update database so it automatically create all the required tables in our database it's done let's see or this see here all the sp net identity tables are created and uh, here in asp net users these three are the columns that uh, we have added so now uh, based on this uh, we can use app user db context to uh, add update delete uh, users from uh, to the database using the entity framework Thank you for the watching, uh, we'll uh, see how to add, update and delete user 
using the app user db context in next video